What's up boys, Call Sign Grimy here, and today we're taking a look at the development process at a couple of different modules in DCS. And in this video, we're gonna look specifically at the FA-18C Hornets, and here's what we have to look forward to this year. Now, to be clear, this is not coming out right away, but these are the main areas for each specific module, in this case, F-18, that they're looking to accomplish uh, throughout 2023, and in some cases it could stretch into 2024, but let's jump into it. First, we have the flight model and the flight control systems update. So they're saying here that the flight model and the FCS have both come a long way, and they're gonna continue to work on this flight performance and how the plane handles characteristics, which is gonna include a complete review of the FM in ground effect. Uh, they're also gonna plan to refactor landing gear mechanics in order to enhance that landing realism that we all want and desire, and as well as for the touch and go behavior. Radar updates. At the same time that they're working on refactoring the flight model and the FCS, uh, a refactoring of the Hornet radar is also gonna be underway. Their key elements here are gonna be addressing the improving the look down, the PRF, the scan azimuth, and, and some more in order to kind of give us an improved detection and target tracking simulation. That is a big dub in my book right there. Let's talk about the GPS weapon lofting. Now in some modules, you can do this. Like for instance, the Harrier, I love the Harrier. And it's looking like the F-18 will be able to do this in the near future. You know, it's an important weapon delivery option for JDAMs, JSAW weapons, is that ability to loft for extended range. Uh, there's gonna be several HUD and HSI changes that they're gonna have to make this year and able to uh, allow this enhanced delivery profile to be an option. And I know we're all looking forward to that. For those of you that like to have the pilot model inside the cockpit, there's a new one coming. So the Hornet already features a cockpit view pilot model, but they're looking to improve and have a more, more realistic model with corrected kit elements and more lifelike animations. And I'm interested to see uh, how that is. I, I personally don't mind the current model, um, but let me know what you guys think about the current model and, and specifically what you think about a new model in the cockpit for you. New fuses. So the Hornet bombs only have a contact detonation fuses like that M904, M905. And in 2023, Eagle Dynamics is looking to work on new fuses such as the DSU-33 Airbus fuse, the FMU-152 Joint Programmable Fuse, JPF. And that's really cool right there because with that JPF is gonna allow you to uh, do all of this stuff programming while airborne and not have to do it while you're on the ground. And if you're like me, I like to spend more of my time in the air and less having to sit in the aircraft on the ground programming everything. Now for the purists out there, totally understandable. You wanna go through every step along the way and do it, God bless. But if you're like me and you wanna get in, punch a couple of things, start up and get in the air, this is gonna be a nice uh, addition for us. Next, let's talk about the DTC or the data transfer cartridge and the MUMI page. I don't know if we refer to that as Mumi or not. Don't fry me in the comments if I don't know the proper terms. I'm sorry, all right? I'm not an actual pilot. <laughs> After completion of the F-16C DTC, which is a priority for Eagle Dynamics, they're gonna go to work on the Hornets DTC in the Mumi page. That's gonna allow users to pre-configure these mission elements like your waypoints and your sequences, data link, countermeasures, weapons, sensors, and so much more. And this is also gonna be planned for mission editor and for the mission planner. That seems like it's gonna be a hefty thing to do. So this seems like it might come down later on, on the road. Let's talk about the ALR 67 updates. So the Hornet is gonna see new symbols and enhancements added to the ALR 67 RWR. Now, some of these things are gonna include emitter jamming, FLIR assignment, harm assignment, and different radar types. Another big dub in my book. That'd be really cool to kind of have that on your RWR and uh, be able to see kind of more what's happening here and, and all of that, identify a lot more. Finally, for the Hornets, the carrier INS alignment, not a huge thing here, but for the purists, I think it's a good touch here. In addition to the ground start alignment, they're also gonna add the aircraft carrier deck alignment, which is gonna allow the aircraft while you're aboard the aircraft carrier to align itself as the aircraft carrier is the main reference source for your alignment. And everything we just talked about are gonna be the primary focus items for the Hornet in 2023 from Ego Dynamics. Now, by no means, as they make clear here in the newsletter, is this an exclusive list they can always add as they need to go through. And of course, they're going to work on fixing bugs, tuning items like the light external lights as needed, and then other elements that they're going to plan to work on uh, after the above include the HSI slew function and further the multi-source integration, the MSI option. So that is what we got to look forward to for all of the Hornet pilots out there in DCS. A quick rundown and look at what Ego Dynamics is looking 
to do in 2023 with your favorite aircraft. If you find this video useful, helpful, or informative, throw it a like, subscribe to the channel, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Call sign Grammy out.